Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to unlock the boot loader of your HTC One M8. This method applies to all HTC One M8 variants except for Verizon. This is a very simple process and here are the steps we will take and I'll walk you through them step by step. Number one, we have to download the Android SDK bundle. Then we have to register at htcdev.com and then you just follow my instructions and we'll get this done. So let's uh, dive right in. Okay, so go to SakiTechOnline.com and navigate to the Downloads folder on the top, the page I mean. And then uh, under Links and Resources, click the link right next to ADT Bundle for Windows. And then click that big blue button right there. Scroll down, agree to the terms, and pick whether your PC is a 32-bit or a 64-bit. And then simply click the Download the SDK ADT Bundle. Okay, so once the file download is complete, here's the big ADT bundle file. What you want to do is you want to extract this to your desktop or wherever you have the whole thing. So go to uh, the extraction software that you use. I use 7-Zip and extract that to your desktop. It takes a couple seconds. And once that is complete, go into the ADT bundle folder and keep digging in. Go to SDK and there's the platform tools folder that we need. So copy this guy and just paste it to your desktop okay and then you can delete everything else delete the ADT zip and the extracted folder all we needed was the platform tools folder so now we are ready for everything now there's a couple things you gotta do on your HTC one so go to the settings scroll all the way down click about click software information click more and then tap that build number seven times to enable the developers options menu then go back and now you have a brand new menu at the bottom called developer options go inside just click OK and make sure USB debugging is enabled so check that box say OK to this and go home and go back into the settings we have to do one more thing just to be safe settings go to battery manager and make sure fast boot is disabled okay just uncheck that and you're good to go also make sure your phone is now connected to your PC using your micro USB cable all right so to uh, unlock this is the first step this is the first major step so far we have been preparing now to unlock the boot loader of your phone you have to go to this website called htcdev.com and make sure you register okay after you register just log in once you're logged in you wanna find this little box here that says unlock the bootloader and you click that then you click get started it's a little slow and then once you're on this website over here where it says supported devices just click this drop down box and find HTC One M8 which is right here once you're there click begin unlock boot loader and make sure this whole time your phone is in fact connected to your PC just like this picture shows okay click yes to the disclaimer and make sure you read these guys you have to acknowledge everything and then click proceed to unlock instructions now remember one thing unlocking the boot loader will make sure everything on your phone that you have right now will be deleted so your phone will be reset so if you have any pictures movies uh, music files and anything else that you want to back up back it up right now because you're gonna lose everything because your phone is going to be reset okay so let's uh, before we do anything else I want you to go into the fast boot mode on your phone so go to this platform tools folder that we created right and press shift on your keyboard and within the white space anywhere inside the folder right click on your mouse and then click open command window here so we can minimize this for a second let's keep this window right here so type in ADB devices 
and I'm assuming your phone is connected to your uh, PC right now. So type in ADB devices, press enter. Make sure you get this serial number here and it says device next to it. That means everything is working properly. Okay, and if you see a prompt on your phone, just say okay to it. Alrighty, and uh, what I want you to do now is I want you to type in ADB reboot boot loader. And if you look at the phone, this is going to send the phone into the fast boot mode. So press enter, your phone will restart, and it's going to go straight into the fast boot mode. And it may try to install some kind of drivers on your phone, and it's going to be perfectly fine. Anyway. The next thing we want to do is go to the HDC Dev website. Okay, skip step number one, two, three, and four. We already accomplished those steps. Go to proceed to step number five. And over here at the command prompt window, they want you to type in fastboot OEM get identifier token. Okay, so let's do that right now. So here's my command prompt. Oops, just maximize this. Okay, so fastboot. OEM get underscore identifier underscore token and then press enter and then you're gonna get this big token number what you want to do is you want to copy and paste this whole thing okay so here's how you do that right click within the command prompt window and click mark once you do that, you will be able to select the token number. Make sure you select it from where it says identifier token start all the way in the beginning, including the arrows. Go all the way down to where it says identifier token end and then release. Right click and it's copied. All right. As soon as you select and right click, it is copied automatically. And then let's scroll down here. Skip step number six and come all the way down at the bottom where it says my device identifier token paste the whole token right here okay and once you click submit this is going to send an email to the email address that you use to register this website so let's go there and see the file that we have to download okay so once you log into your gmail account you should have an email from htcdev.com okay and in this email they sent you a file that you're gonna need to download as an attachment so if you scroll down at the bottom here it says unlock code dot bin all I want you to do is click download so this will go to your downloads folder okay so let's download this mine went to the desktop and then don't close the email yet it says click here to continue the boot loader unlocking process okay so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the link location because I'm using a different browser for the other website. So you you can just click it and it's gonna take you to htcdev.com. Okay. So I'm just gonna go back over here. And this is Chrome. I'm gonna paste. This is where they want you to go. Okay. So that takes you to step eight. Now it says you'll receive an email. You already downloaded everything. Here's what I want you to do at this point. Okay, let's stop at step number nine. Here's the unlock code.bin. Take this, put it in the platform tools folder. Okay, so everything must be in the platform tools folder. That's where we are operating from. Go back to your command prompt, go back to the website, and basically I want you to type this whole code. Okay, so fastboot flash unlock token. Let me just put this on the side here. And type it right here. Fast boot flash unlock token space unlock underscore code dot bin. <clears throat> and just make sure that the U here is capitalized, okay? So fast boot flash unlock token capital U unlock underscore code dot bin once you press enter take a look at your phone okay now remember as soon as you press enter and you say yes everything on your phone is going to disappear so I hope you have your backup so just press enter take a look at your phone 
what they want you to do on the phone is they want you to use the volume up key to go to yes and then use the power key to select yes which means the unlocking the bootloader process is going to complete so let me press um, enter a uh, power on the phone to select yes and that's it your phone is gonna restart it's gonna go back into the initial setup screen to the way it was when you first bought the device the first day and then you're done you have an unlocked bootloader and uh, that's it all right so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below thank you again and I'll see you the next time and if you have any questions comments concerns just throw them down in the comments section below